James, it is not possible to pee into a toilet without spattering all around the rim and onto the floor. I will not use a spattered, disrespected toilet. Figure out some solution to this problem. Whatever it is, it will have to be satisfactory to me. Maybe. Hey, hey, Still working on that. My niece, uh, Beverly Foster, remembers Andy. She says, I remember one day, I think her name's uh, Beverly Lynn Foster. I remember one day, I knocked on the door to his study. He was playing tribal music. He had me come in and close my eyes. When I opened them, he had a shirt for me. It was from the tribe. He told me they had come through the stereo to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> on special occasions, holidays, and family gatherings, we would bond over our love for dove bars. Sometimes he would bring me home dry ice. We would use tongs to dip rubber bands in and throw them on the ground and watch them shatter. He would take us to his lab and show us everything. He even had us pet a shark. Thinking back, I don't know that was, it was really a shark. It was very small. <laughs> and I think I refused to touch it. I think every time I visited, he was cracking nuts open and telling me to try them. I don't think I ever told him how I don't actually like nuts. He used to tell me that he was not able to come visit us because we lived at the edge of the earth and he was afraid he would fall off. <laughs> We did not share a blood relation, but this man treated me with such love and kindness. I grew with, up with him as my grandpa Andy. I am so thankful for that. He always wanted the best for us. He wanted to watch us learn and grow. Now I'd like to introduce our final speaker, Victor Bacquier, who is Andy's colleague and friend on the Scripps Institute of Oceanography Marine Biology faculty for 37 years.